So after a loss in the national championship game, SAU has decided to renew my contract. Woohoo! In this contract, we have to win nine games. These are like the team, the current team goals. Win nine games, finish the season in the top ten, and play in a mo major bowl game. You know that that's the goal every single year, man. Now, this time around in the offseason, I told y'all I will try to bring these guys back. And that's exactly what I plan on doing. So, Spinner, okay, not you. If you want to transfer, get your butt on, okay? I remember I tried to get Eric Dickerson. Remember Eric Dickerson? I tried to get him to come back, but he actually decided to go to Rice as well. But, Spinner, I'm going to let you go. AJ Hunt, I want you back. 89 overall middle linebacker. I want you back, baby. I want you back. So, let's... Just put up all the points. You can only put 75 points in trying to get these guys back. That's what I'm going to do. You see, I got like 194 left. So, AJ Hunt's like, this is my family, coach. I'm coming back. Andrews, our big offensive lineman, just straight knocking fools out. He's like, coach, I'm coming back next year. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. But then we got Matt Foster. Matt Foster really ain't got too much to prove on the college scene. So, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put 75 points to bringing him back. But he's like, sorry, coach. I've already made up my mind. I'm going pro. For sure, man. So in the second week of recruiting, the first week of recruiting, we didn't sign anybody. In the second week of recruiting, we got Stanley West. He is from Texas. He is a 6'4", 228 middle linebacker. And you know I like my little my, my middle linebackers being, being able to run and being able to hit. And I believe he ran like a 4'6", or 4'7", in the 40. We also have a Juco transfer from junior college and that is all right with me we might register him as well because our offensive line is actually pretty freaking good going into this upcoming scene season excuse me ernest taylor we signed him from texas see we got a whole bunch of players from texas and this was actually the first year that i went outside of the people that just want to come to our school I actually targeted some people that weren't really you know looking to go to sau because our team is pretty stacked. Our team is pretty young going into the season. So we got Jenkins. He is a five-star recruit, man. I know he always got good running backs. I don't know if I should redshirt him. He's already a junior. You know what I mean? We still got Walter, and we also have Seth Bryant. Walter, you guys will see in a second, is better than Seth Bryant. But again, it's going to be running back by committee. You know how I do. Now, as you check out the, uh, the roster, I got to break down something to you guys. As you guys know, my true fans, <laughs> it's been for 2K5, the Lions franchise. That's dumb because my disc keeps on saying, oh, or the Xbox keeps on saying, can't read the disc. But whenever I do a play now game, it works fine. But whenever I do a franchise game, it keeps on saying, can't read disc. It's the same thing that happened in the Steelers franchise. So what I'm going to do, we are going to jump over to Madden 05, and we're going to do a franchise size there we're gonna do one with my san francisco 49ers and we're gonna add some sau players now chad johnson he's already on the team okay he's there he's like 88 overall just because he was 99 overall when he finished and you know he was gonna be like a first round first tight end picked in the draft he won the best tight end uh, award for college like three straight years so he's a flat out going okay um I'm also thinking about adding Austin Bracey. I'm thinking about adding Fabian Spicer. I'm thinking about adding David Carter. No Tony Campbell. No Chris Cooper unless you guys want to see them. So you have to let me know down in the comment section below if that's what you want to see. Um, there's no guarantee that these guys are going to be long-term 49ers outside of Chad Johnson. There's no, you know, uh, timetable for when I'm going to use these guys and stuff like that. I've already edited some of them. Chad is a rookie. I believe Fabian Spicer is going into like his fourth season as an NFL player. I, I think that's what I put. Uh, who else did I make? Also made so for David Carter, who is like in his second or third season in the, in the NFL. He's a free agent as well. So just let me know who you guys want me to put on the team. I'm looking forward to this. I forgot how fun that game is. And I've actually been tweaking the sliders to make it a little bit more not so OP'd on defense. I feel like the computer in Madden 05, they just know where you're going to go. They know what play you're going to call. You know what I mean? And receivers really have a hard time getting open. But, you know, with learning about sliders and stuff like that, I've tweaked these sliders. And it's actually pretty freaking amazing how fun this game is. You know, just playing like, what, four games at this point in Madden 05 in like the past week. But I'm having a blast with it. So you guys will begin a franchise there. I know I always come up with heck of series and then they always die out. That's my fault. But I'm going to stick with SAU, the Madden franchise. And for the current gen, PS4, Xbox One, probably just MLB the show in, in my career for right now. 
I could bring back a Madden 16 series, but I really don't want to. You guys can let me know if you want to see a Madden 16 series. Just let me know. But here goes the schedule. Arizona State in week two, then Texas A&M, Florida. Then we got Texas Tech at home. Then we also got the Ohio State University at home. And then we go on the road at number nine, Cal. Then we got Virginia Tech. Then we got Notre Dame. And then we got Michigan. And then we got Nebraska. And then we got Wisconsin. So it's going to be a tough road to get back to that title game. But you know we are gearing up for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Hot sauce.